but your immediate family, it seems like the intellectually disabled, mm -hmm. the de developmentally challenged has been a particular passion. Well, my mom's sister, Rosemary Kennedy, was developmentally challenged, so she started Special Olympics to really prove to the world that people with intellectual disabilities could not only compete on the playing field, they could hold down jobs, they could go to school, they could be productive members of society. So we've come a long way uh, since she started the program. There's still a lot more to be done around the world, but we really hope that Eunice Kennedy Shriver Day will be a, a day where people will go out and play, will go out and reach out to invite people with intellectual disabilities into their lives, into society, and play with them because, as we all know, in play you learn a lot about another human being. And for more information on that, obviously, EuniceKennedyShriver.org. You also mentioned Best Buddies, which is right. a, a family affair as well. Yes. Your younger brother founded it. You've been involved in it. I've been lot. involved. It's in schools all over this country, all over the world, in colleges, high schools, and it pairs a person with a non-intellectual disability with someone who has one and they go out, they go to the movies, they learn a lot, they become part of each other's lives because one of the biggest issues facing people with intellectual disabilities is that they're not included in the everyday activities that all of us get to take for granted and they're also not employed. So Best Buddies seeks to kind of break down the barriers in both of those areas. And Tom Brady of the Patriots also very involved. Active, very, very active. He has a football game in, in Boston. They have a ride down to Hyannisport. He's been a great champion and a great friend uh, of Best Buddies. You mentioned how important sports is to your family. I mean, you yeah. hear all the legendary stories about your uncles JFK and Bobby and Teddy playing football on the high end of Sport Lawn. You had mentioned that your mother actually played tackle football yeah, she with the did. boys at time. Did, did you yeah, ever get she, in there yeah, and mix she, it up? She uh, <laughs> raised me playing tackle football and it wasn't until I got into college that I realized that that was kind of weird. Uh, you know, that all my friends would come over and go, I don't want to be tackled. And I was like, really? Why not? And uh, But she, she believed that women could do everything that a man could do and so she raised me that way. So I'm really thrilled that this day in honor of her, uh, we need a day in honor of a woman, and a woman who, who fought for change, who was a warrior for change, and who really did accomplish her goals. So I think it's a great day of play and the understanding that we learn, as I said, so much through the active play and the inclusion of someone who's different from us in our daily lives. 